Controversy creates buzz. Buzz creates views. Views creates ad revenue. Equals money. This is all business. It's just business, ladies and gentlemen. Hey yo, what it do? My name is George something. And Netflix over here released a trailer. An official trailer for the Vince McMahon or Mr. McMahon documentary series. What is this? Uh, okay, so 200 hours of interviews with McMahon himself prior to his resignation, his family members, business associates, and some of the iconic names in wrestling history. And as well as the journalists who uncovered McMahon's allegations, and blah 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 blah. So I think this is gonna be a six-parter, I think that's what I heard, you know, six-parter documentary series so it's gonna be on netflix and I, I can't wait for this i'm actually excited for this for some reason because i'm very curious as to what they have on here here's the trailer it was released two hours ago so <laughs> this is very very new so this is gonna be a reaction if you're not gonna see any you know clips or anything of the trailer it's because, you know, of copyright, right? Just in case you don't get to see clips of the trailer in this reaction, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below, just in case, right? I, I, this will probably end up like a breakdown or whatever. But if the clips are here, like, you know, the clips of the trailer is in this video, then yay this documentary oh here it is the, the steroid scandal holy shit so they are really like going off the cuff here it's no holds barred here like this is not like watered down with wwe this is really like off the cuff i'm gonna be surprised if they got benoit on here and eddie guerrero and all of these controversial shit they got eric bischoff on there did they bring in Vince Russo here? Is Vince Russo part of this series? Did they contact Vince Russo for this? Vince Russo needs to be here because he played a major role like back in the Attitude Era, I'm just saying. Vince Russo is supposed to be here. I don't know, like it's gonna be missing. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, like, did I see Ben? Oh. Holy shit, the man. <laughs> okay, so this is Vince uh, Chris Benoit is back. <laughs> Chris Benoit is back in the wrestling business, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm not supposed to laugh. The smarks are gonna be annoyed. With me laughing at Chris Benoit. It feels weird seeing Chris Benoit get mentioned or being seen in a modern WWE shit documentary video. I don't know. It's, it's just weird, right? An official documentary or whatever that's connected to WWE. It's just weird. They are really going like off the cuff, like no restrictions, no handcuffs or whatever. No WWE like watering it down, no filter. We're going all out with this documentary. They are really going all out. And it's actually weird that, you know, WWE is going to move to Netflix next year. And they are going to post something like this. They are going to post something that might, I don't know, ruin their reputation or whatever. WWE is allowing Netflix to do this kind of documentary. It's just, you know, when you're gonna move to Netflix and people are gonna watch this, people who are new to the WWE, they are going to watch this and it's associated with WWE. They're gonna think differently with WWE so I don't know I think it's very weird to do this just saying man like when you think about it I think they are doing this for the hype they want as much people to watch WWE because Netflix 
they want to milk the WWE name, the WWE brand. So they are going to do everything in their power to milk WWE because they just bought the rights. I, I think they bought the rights or the, you know, the right, you know, the library and everything. They bought WWE. WWE is part of Netflix now, so they are going to want to like milk everything that's revolved around WWE so that they, they can get a bang for their buck. They just recently bought it and they want an instant return of investment. Like when you think about it from a business point of view, I'm just saying. So controversy creates buzz. Buzz creates views. Views creates ad revenue equals money. This is all business. It's just business, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, it's gonna get, like, a lot of casual fans to tune in. I'm actually curious right now. Like, I wanna watch this documentary. I might watch this documentary, and, and, and I'll probably do videos on this this coming September. Holy shit, is this a six-part, like... I'm gonna watch a shit ton of wrestling this September. I'm gonna I'm gonna milk this as much as possible, alright? This is money right here. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to make as much videos surrounding this as possible. Prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare your notification bells because there's gonna be a lot of Vince McMahon or WWE related videos this coming September 26. Is it September 26? September 25 onwards. All right, September 25 onwards. There's gonna be a lot of content surrounding this. I might even have to upload three times, you know, a day. Like there will be days where I might upload four videos, three videos. I don't fucking care. I'm gonna milk this, ladies and gentlemen. I, it's just business, y'all. It's just business. So stay tuned for all of this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, keep notification bell on so that you don't miss a single video here in the Hood Gang Network. It ain't nothing if it's from George something. Aight, the world heavyweight champ has got a head out.